no, please. I don't even know what that's about. I do. <laughs> what are you talking no, about? Trump. Oh, no, 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 that's not. We're not, not, not going to bring that. Let's not lower ourselves to that. No, we don't want to bring that. Into we need to start our meeting. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. So, so basically, I spoke with um, Dr. McKenzie in regards to the hate um, information, mm -hmm. and we spoke for almost an hour. Mm. And she was very helpful, um, and she just provided so much information on what they're doing to tackle this situation issue. Mm. So I wrote down and took some notes, and I just wanted to go over with the meeting, I mean with, with the committee, to see what we can speak on, what we shouldn't speak on, and whether or not we should speak on it at all. Well, I'm I'm with two minds on this, and I'll jump in here. But I just asked, does yeah. this sound like business? This sounds like uh, otherwise. Yes. this sounds like if there's there's I'm more sensitive it's to the open, open meeting, meeting issue, right. and we need to right. start the meeting. And so that's the point then, I, I was going to make is if there's more than we want to talk about, we should say that openly in the meeting. Say you know, so we'll, let's have this discussion. Yeah, in the meeting. Is that okay? Chris? Yeah. It's not amended. What's so that? I took down the note. No, we'll. No, we'll give you an opportunity we'll in the meeting to talk about that. Yeah, you know. but you're talking. And that kind of that makes sense. No, because I wanted to get everybody's feedback on it. But but this is the, but this is so. How about the next, next, next month? Done. Sure, next month. Yeah, of yeah. Course. I, I want to organize. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get that, yeah. and I wanted everyone we would like that. their input so we can yeah. have it as a whole sure. instead of one person coming at. Okay, great. Right. I'll leave that for next month. Okay, all right. We're ready then. And so we will cut from this point. <laughs> and when Alex is editing, and we will now start. It is <laughs> it is seven twelve. We have one of We have everyone. Megan. 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 Um. So with that in mind, I will call the May meeting to order. Um. Opening reflections. Uh, does anyone jump in? Um, I'm thinking of Israelis and Palestinians and no good answers there. And I don't have anything good to say about that. I'm just thinking about springtime in Hadley is just beautiful. So I want to start yeah. out with something positive. Yes. Thank you. That was I right. have it. Yeah. Diversity yeah. and grace. And the sun came out after all the rain. Exactly right. Yeah. That would be a nice thing. Oh. <laughs> Um, jump into the clerk's report. So I um, I sent by attachment the minutes. Um, <clears throat> I don't have any extra copies. Oh, I do actually to share. I have two copies. You have two copies? Yes. Oh, look at this. Okay, that was my extra copy. Oh, Thank you, my Thank you. Yeah. So if you want to take a look at them if they haven't had the opportunity and I thank you. I think that's a review. It's a new perfect. My other one.
Okay. 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 I move to accept these minutes as written. A second. And a second. So now we have any discussion about them? <laughs> any have any edits? Any? No. I think when I did attendance, I noted the who, and I listed Crystal at the top, and then I listed Crystal at the bottom. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> I think you couldn't make it to that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I, I think see I would propose right that we edit yeah. out the who Crystal Jackson yes. and put okay. Crystal under absent so for you. I move to approve the minutes as amended. A second. <laughs> Without uh, not hearing any other discussion. All and uh, I'm supposed to do a roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been told on the, on the planning board that we have to do a roll call. So, Pat, yeah, ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Even if it's unanimous. So, can we all raise your hand and just say our names? Yes. yes. Pat approves. Pat approves and Joanne approves. Crystal approves. Crystal approves. Wayne approves. Mark yeah. approves. And Sarah approves. Okay. It is unanimous. It is. Unanimous. I think it's lawyers, but the interesting <laughs> thing is that we have a lawyer on the as a, as a part of the planning board, and we continue to with the five of us if it's unanimous, he doesn't take a role. We'll see. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay. Um, moving from there, we go to old business for a special potluck gathering doodle day. That's Megan. I don't think she's here. Location, Wayne, food, guest, all. I believe Megan sent us an email mm -hmm. suggesting we go with 6 9, June the 9th, at the date. She did. Okay. And I'll just note that we did have a question raised if we can have a social gathering without it being an open meeting. And uh, our question to the town administrator, which she then carried to the town council, was if we have, you know, we are not going to talk about business or deliberate, we are just talking about a social, mm -hmm. that's fine. Uh, I haven't been told that we have to sign that David, or, but uh, I think that is, uh, now that we have a date, I should get a location. Um, any suggestions? Well, you had said maybe uh, you're, you're a donor, a donor, mm -hmm. or don't you have a social space on your property? Uh, if, if that would be available, that would. I think we looked at anywhere from one in the afternoon until here. I've got the doodle pole here. Yeah. Sent out uh, well, it's not a hearing. Was this up by? One to three, two to four. Here, one to three, two to four, four to six. Yeah, that's why I saw it. Yeah, thank you. Super big again. There's six, nine, six, nine, and nine. Yeah. Oh, on the second one, one, two. One, two. Really? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So which I'm we can find out from Megan what the do. Yeah, oh, it's a Sunday. Yeah. 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 Now, four to six seems to me like dinner time. Mm -hmm. And if we're just going to have mm -hmm. the four seems good. Yeah. 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 On, a, on a Sunday, I usually have a late, like a brunch. So if I'm having a lunch, I get that morning in the afternoon. So that was two to four. It doesn't matter to me what time it is. That, that's a, that's a nice start. Oh, yeah. Yeah, heat of the day. Hopefully it's not raining. Yeah. And cold. So this is, well, if I can get it, it has a cover. So yeah. okay. we'll be inside. And you can park very close by. Oh, right. 
<laughs> it would be okay if, if Wayne reported that to us by email. I think, so. I think so. Okay, so we're confirming we're going to have the social. We prefer to have it two to four, and that Wayne is going to confirm the location to us by email. Yeah, I, I think those plans can go offline because it's not an open. Okay, meeting. well that's a good point. I'd just like to ask that given this is this is a this is an open meeting and the public is could be hearing this, is this event open to the public? No, it's no. Just, okay, so that's not the. Intent. I'm just asking the question because we're right now deliberating yeah. the, for the right. meeting. That's People who might watch this later. So, yeah. 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 Right. So yeah. we're right. Right. But, for the committee. But this is my understanding is the committee and and significant others. Right. 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 Family members. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 So just right. making yeah. that clear for anyone who might be listening to right. it. Yeah. And, and the intention of this is just for us to get to know each other. Yeah. people. That was your request. Yeah. 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 yeah, we probably didn't even need to discuss it during this. Well, meeting. exactly right. But anyway. Yeah. Right. But if we do it again, we'll do it off. Um, okay. For B, puts us on the movie matinee uh, with the senior center that uh, co sponsors. And that is uh, June 14th at 12 30, high on the hog. How African American Cuisine Transformed America, Season 1, Episode 4. Freedom. And my notes indicate that, Crystal, you said you'd make lemonade for this event, for the, for the event on uh, Season 14. Right, for this event. And I'm going to make cupcakes, so secure cupcakes, red dollar cupcakes. And I'll end. The senior center confirmed that. Mm -hmm. In fact, I dropped off a poster earlier today for them to put in the lobby. All right, so what's that? Then we have to kind of come up with how much I should make. I might bring Brown. You might that be that terrific. Okay. Yeah, great. Yeah. Right. yeah. What's the average amount? What's the yeah. so much. What's the amount? Typical. Anywhere from twelve to twenty people. Oh, okay. Well, that's a thing. Yeah. I'm going to give it to them. Then we can have something else if they want. Has anything decided about food at our get together? It's going to be pot lark. We all bring something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I was going to do the doodle call, but I didn't like all of the ins and outs and roundabouts you had to do just to answer it. So I figured I'd just come to the meeting. Yeah. So I, yeah. I hear you. Yeah. And I think we can, just, I hear you. we can just email. Outside. The rest of it, yeah, on that. yeah, everyone's yeah. just going to yeah. bring their it's, own. It's not meeting time anymore, so right. yeah, okay. Um, if everyone brings a salad, that's fine, <laughs> <laughs> or dessert, <laughs> okay. Four B was movie matinee. Four C is is it traca? Traca, yeah, traca, traca, traca. Trauma, Haiti, and the healing power of dance. So, some of us went to this, mm -hmm. and I'll just open up to say that it was very worthwhile. Yeah, really um, three of us. I'll I'll just say that. Thank you. Um, we we got to watch the, your workshops, uh, talk to some of the oh, dancers, talk to Jean Apollon. Mm -hmm. uh, it was I, I, it was well worth my taking a chunk out of my work day. Yeah. I will say, and I did bring the paper for those who didn't. I did. I did email all of you that I got in the paper, yeah. but uh, that, that's a little bit. Others who came were Pat and Sarah. Pat and Sarah, I got it. I, I really appreciated the event. There was a very nice spirit mm -hmm. in the community among the students and the teachers and the administrators and. Um, I just felt grateful mm -hmm. to have been included mm -hmm. and to be part of that spirit of Hopkins mm -hmm. and the, the Hadley Pool. I mean, it was just great. Yeah. One of the children said um, she doesn't ever remember having so much fun at school. Oh, <laughs> the kids just got really engaged and um, were taught dance moves and we're allowed to be creative and um, it was nice, beautiful. Nice and sad. 
Why is it so bad? Mm -hmm. Oh, I do. Said it's oh, she said it's good. oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's very nice that you did it. And I'm glad she had fun. And I mean, she was just overjoyed with yeah. the experience. Yeah, and it was a high point. It, it was great. I mean, so, it doesn't mean you never had fun other than that at school. I know. <laughs> And they could have had a lot of fun at school and still that would be the most fun day you ever had. <laughs> it, yeah, I see. It was like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also were invited to join the teachers for their potluck and, and that was fun too. So, you know, I, I just felt really um, happy. just happy to be there. Happy, yeah. Internally, you know. Enjoy. Sarah, yeah. share some things, Sarah. Sarah? And I went there too. Yeah, it was just, it was great to see how enthusiastically the kids really participated. You know, you could tell that there's a lot of sports going on at that school because those kids were really fit. I mean, there was one dance move that was basically fall down, do a push up, and jump yeah, back up again. Exactly. I'm like, oh. At no time in my life would I have ever been able to do that. And lots of them, you know, most of them could just do it. So Hopkins Academy is yeah. nine through twelve. Jumping right? and no, it's seven through twelve. Seven yeah. through twelve. Yeah, really. So all students from all grades were there. Yeah, the seventh and eighth, the ninth and tenth, the eleventh and the twelfth. They did yeah, three yeah. different groups. Oh, good. Yeah, that was nice to spread it out. Yeah, and, and just, yeah. And you got to see all of them, didn't you? I I did see a bit of each. Yeah, 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 I saw most I saw of the one and part of the screen one. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was, um, yeah. and they were really supportive of each other. It seemed like the kids were really, they were really engaged. Good. And, and mm -hmm. like you said, creative too. Good. Yeah, yeah. the teachers. And they asked good questions. At the, Alberto and, and Ms. It's Gibbons were just so committed mm -hmm. to um, engaging the students in a cross-cultural event. And that was really um, uplifting too. Yeah. I wish I could have attended um, I tried to get off work, but um, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, mm -hmm. unfortunately, but I really That's did want to go. I did, but I'm glad that you guys had an opportunity to review it and to enjoy it and to feel it. But you know, within your soul. Yeah. Was well, anything at all discussed about the the contemporary situation in Haiti? The kids had studied Haiti. Yeah. Um, in Dominican Republic, but um, they, not during the time history. I was there, not by the right. right. presenters. Yeah. Right. That would be but, my guess. By implication, so traca means trauma in um, Korea. It, Korea. Yes. Uh, trauma, trouble, whatever. When I watched, so they, we, we always sent that like 28 minute YouTube piece. And I said, I have to watch that. I have to go. Yeah. And Jean, who led discussions and questions, answered really good questions and gave great answers. I felt like he really embodied the idea that there's a lot of trauma. Mm -hmm. Now, there, here, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And how using movement to deal with the stress of that is a positive tool. So this was part of what I got from the workshops was, what, was how empowering it can be uh, to do that. And after the workshops, when we were helping set up chairs and we we, uh, we had volunteered, but we found out that a lot, a number of students volunteered to set up chairs. One of the students who had, was, it, it, I happened to say, ask him, and he was a, a young man of African-American descent. And he, I said, what did you think of that? And he said, I came alive. You know, he had mm -hmm. like, and I had seen him. That's one reason why I asked him. I'd seen him really alive in, in that. Um, but but then to see the the actual performance, the different movements where you could right. see this is pain, this is suffering, this is this Joy. is this is you know finding community, finding you know it, it it was very and that was only a half an hour of a full hour and a half long. I think they're doing it again to other places. Um, and I, I, I left thinking, this happened in Hadley? Why, is, why isn't this in an arena? You know, I mean, I know why, but that it was that worthy. It was that, that touching. So, in the yeah. African-American culture, no matter where your DNA ends or begins, this is how we deal with 
yeah. a lot of issues in our society by dancing, by singing, by coming together as a group, no matter where you are, it's just coming together as a whole. Yeah. And dance does that because it's one language. Everyone can understand. You understood it. Mm -hmm. I'm quite sure I would understand mm -hmm. it. You understood it. So dance is one mm -hmm. um, opportunity to express your emotions to all cultures. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy it did happen, like you said, when yeah. it happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so overwhelming approved by you guys. Yeah, said, you know, yeah. Sure, sure. and I'm glad you said I wanted to note also that they had live drumming mm -hmm. during the workshop. The dance had recorded music, but all the music was was yeah. really you can you know, I wanted to get up and move. You and I feel. felt, you know, I think though <laughs> that's one of the challenges I have in our society is that I want to move and you know, I also don't and like to be just so who's that weirdo. So, yeah, I don't know. sometimes you, you can't yeah. worry about that. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. I would say you front row. all the time. <laughs> True, all the time for that any little thing. Anyway, any judge. it was great to have connected with the school to know this was happening and then to support it. So, my closing statement would be: stay in touch with those teachers, you know, and to continue to support. And who knows, we might be able to know with more time to, to have more people come. Can we know who initiated this project, who caused it to happen? Um, yeah. Those two teachers, yeah. Elliot Lamberto and Ruth Ann Fitzgibbons, and the trustees, the Hopkins oh. um, Academy trustees, funded yeah. the experience. Right. Do we know if any of the Kids from the families staying at notes and were there attending. Don't I don't know, but I remember from what Annie McKenzie presented to us. She said most of those children are in the elementary school. Oh, that's right. I remember her saying that. Yeah. So, well, when I spoke to her, um, she did say there were some that were in elementary and some that were in high school. Hopefully they did attend. That would make them feel a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would think. It they like assume it's trauma pain. that brought them here. Yes, and not only that, if, if they're going to the school, I'm quite sure they had to attend it. Yes, yes. just as part of it. Was. was. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It was everyone. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it was great. I can imagine. Yeah. I would like to go to maybe one. It's August 17th one. Yeah. Let's ponder that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clark, going to be doing it for seven days at Martha's Vineyard. That's all long. <laughs> yeah. As an aside, my brother in law finally got his visa. Oh. His, oh. Uh, no, his passport back. Wow. It had expired and he had applied for it. But when it came in Haiti, there was no way to get into Port au Prince to get it. Yeah. And finally, a friend of his managed. Sort of sneak through and get to the embassy uh, oh, and bring it to him. Wow. Port au Prince is just a mess. There's no law there. Yeah. Yes, but, I, I have been following that. It's yeah. it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible and it's scary. Yeah. It's very scary. Didn't they instill some leader? I don't know how that's taken. Um, I have kind of on the side of the guy. Yeah. They got rid of the other guy. Okay. The guy who'd been there for the last two years, yeah. and he resigned finally. Yeah. So we hope Stephen's coming here. Yeah, we hope he's coming. Yes. Uh, how long will he be there? So oh, he's he's worked there for the past nineteen years. Oh, so he justified to come home now. He visits every now and then. Right. So and he's yeah. also speaking to raise money. Uh, he has a date in Chicago and he's trying to coordinate that. But he goes and tries to raise money for, for um, the, the organization he works from mm -hmm. um, trains older women, gives them ways to make money. Okay. They give them two, I think, two years of training mm -hmm. and how to. They buy them a cow, how to take care of it. They, whatever the women can do, they help them find something that most of these women have no income whatsoever. Right. Yeah. So his organization works with 
that. They started by just helping women get loans. Wow, that's amazing. The women in groups of four or five mm -hmm. get a loan and do something with it. And when they all five paid it back, they could get the next loan. Get by chewing gum and selling the streets and whatever. Mm -hmm. That's just getting increasingly harder for yeah. anybody to do anything. Mm -hmm. So is he coming home for good now? No. Or is he just visiting? I wish, but he, you know, he's his hardest thing at all. Wow. There's a war zone. We couldn't get back for Passover, so he would have missed Passover. Oh. The word is he'll be coming at some point. Oh, thank God. Right. Not very old. Our, our next item is old business uh, 4D, continued conversation on offering community-wide DEI education in conjunction with Alley Department of Groups. Do you believe off on that? Is, is this an offshoot of our discussions about continuing with for Troy Brand and Seeing what athlete Harry Williams is doing is that Pat is that what, what that I think is? this is a broader a way to broader broader idea discussion. for future is it more like on the minutes number five I think it's more the minutes number number okay. four and which um, probably the April minutes great are you talking about four a yeah. um, I was talking about um, 4A, and then I guess it's um, 5A. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. Back to, yeah. I mean, hosting DPI education, and you can type of that or that. And then we've had this discussion, I think, weekly or monthly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Brett, read here in the minutes. That there is going to be a team to explore this topic. WA volunteered to work on a team exploring this topic. Right. One of the things we talked about was um, because I'm on the Mount Toby Quaker meeting email list still, um, and they were having a workshop using the Loretta Ross idea of calling in, not with her personally, but yeah. I think they had done some preliminary stuff and then they were going to have a day workshop. And so we were talking about how would we talk to Mount Toby, who was organizing it at Mount Toby, and is there a way for us to organize something like that here in Hadley? Like, extremely preliminary conversation last month. And Wayne was still busy with school, and I was still, <laughs> still busy, and I'm still busy. <laughs> But I think I, I think I managed to find a couple of the email newsletters from Mount Toby and forward them to Wayne or something. Did I, well, did I actually succeed in doing that or did, did I only really think about it? <laughs> if you did, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> so I'll reset. Well, you, you. You've yeah. got in the minutes that our community may, may want to collaborate with Troy Brin to identify some topics of interest that that feels like a good place to start it seems he named so many resources you know um and i was reviewing a hadley employee handbook today that was 10 years old i don't even know if it's current but i saw how empty it was of anything to do with dei in there um, I, I remember a little of our conversation about that saying that we need we need help from people who are on the inside and see the community and the inner workings of the community to have suggestions about what would really be effective. Yeah, that's what I remember. Mm -hmm. And I think we even talked about asking him to speak to, to us about that directly. Mm -hmm. To not make a large presentation, but would he speak with us mm -hmm. at some point about suggestions mm -hmm. so we could make a list Follow up on some, or mm -hmm. get his help with some, or he could give us resources of things he thought would be effective. Mm -hmm. um, so would it be accurate to say that 
to strengthen that statement in 5A, um, the CDI may want to collaborate with Troy Bren to say the, the CDI wants to collaborate, would like to collaborate with Troy to identify five to six topics of interest to managers, employees, as well as residents. Like what we're hearing. Right, and the next step is is, is someone actually are we actually going to do it? But that that's that's why we're talking about this topic again because these are all good. You know, Sarah's idea and Wayne mentioning that, and then Troy Britton, and then next we've got here uh, Megan Raylan reported that she knows some DEI educators, yes. Sheila and Choir. So that we've got a number of different leads. But what I'm hoping we get to is a decision yeah. of something to actually do. Right. And maybe we want to circle back to Megan after her semester, you know, she mm -hmm. right. and yeah. see, because she definitely knows a whole lot of the DEI stuff from uh, her experience on her the committee in Deerfield. Or Could herself. we agree on one or two specific like this yeah. to just say we will do this and we'll do this and come up with, or start there to come up with specifics that we can do? I mean, my hope is that my coming month is not as crazy, whacked out, busy with trucks driving over my life <laughs> as the last month has been, and that I will actually have time to look again for those emails from Mount Toby and share them with Wayne so that we could actually talk to each other about them, even by email, and say, who should we call? or what should we, you know, what, what would come next? I think because at this point I haven't even gotten that far. I anything like this that any it. of us came up with, and if we, yeah, right, I, and I would know, be the point person if somebody yeah. wanted to send me something to follow up like, on okay. and make a proposal yeah. in, in our next yeah. meeting. Right. I, I mean, may, maybe Megan has something that's ready to go sooner and it takes longer to get this Mount Toby. Loretta Ross idea rolling, so we do Megan's thing first, or I don't know. I, I just, you know, it's just I just have had to kick it down the road because right. like, fair enough. And we yeah. we yeah. repeatedly reminded ourselves of our limited bandwidth. Yeah. So yeah, not trying to commit to right. doing more than you know. So maybe start with one. Yeah. Yeah. With hopes of a so second. What if I reach out to Megan to see if she yeah. has any. Contact. You know, follow up on this, acknowledging that maybe you yeah. can't get to it till after, you know, the, yeah. maybe over the, the school summer. things are going on. Yeah. And then see if any of this stuff might intersect with things that Troy might, you know, the more support, the better is, is kind of yeah. what I'm seeing. Maybe making, can I, yeah, as well provide you with some contact information. You can go on your own and reach out instead of waiting for her if she's unable to do it now or within a certain timeline. Yeah, that's all good too. So you know, so not put the full load on her since she's already uh, preoccupied. And I know you are too. I'm not saying I'm taking anything away from you, but my life have direct has contact. more room now than most of my adult life. Really, I'm not <laughs> saying I'm bored. <laughs> But I am learning that the things that I care about, I will make time to do. <laughs> and things I don't, it's, it's an easy no. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not that's good. You know, but but um well, what if I volunteer to talk to Troy? Mm -hmm. And I'll get those five to six topics. Yeah. Okay, that's what exactly. I will do. Okay. Yeah. And then other people seem to have DEI educators that maybe would be able to address one or two of the things mm -hmm. that Troy thinks would be a priority for him. I don't know that I have any specific in that area. I mean, I'm happy okay. to follow up with somebody, but it's okay. I think having yeah. a specific person like this and specific yeah. ideas is where, where we're going to get the farthest. Yeah. And as you said, if you, but she, she said, I know some, but if you know some as well, I, I know I'm opposed to that at all. Right. And um, I was going to say to Pat, uh, when you do get that information, the five to six topics, um, you just email us that information. Um, I'll bring it back to the next meeting. Yeah. Maybe we'll put it on the agenda. Is that all right? 
Yeah, did you want to do a subcommittee that's less than a quorum and move it further before the next month or do you want to just wait for next month? I, I do it next month so we can have the topics. Yes, yeah, so everybody will come prepared for what they agreed to do, and then, then we can use And then we'll see if we can match, right? Yeah. June 20th. And then we could potentially um, co sponsor something with Troy. Yeah. Right? Right? Wouldn't that be nice? At this moment, my middle of June is really unsettled. And yeah, I'm awesome. hoping that I will be here. Um, you but at best. this point, I can't say. It's okay. It's okay. Well, I was thinking maybe in the fall we would do, we would maybe offer something. I think that's right. when it's really oh, going yeah. to happen. Oh, like, oh right. yes. Oh, we wouldn't we'll try this in the summer. Some of the preliminary <laughs> good <laughs> work. And then but, but in the, the summer, we're going to narrow down right. what yeah. we're going to ask for. I don't right. think we'll be ready to do anything in September, but we can we'll see. We can line up who we can ask and right. That's right. dates and mm -hmm. specific projections. Good yeah. trainers yeah. are are lined up, <laughs> you know, right? So we, we right, and you know yeah. maybe what Wayne and I work together on winds up happening next year, and what you guys pull right. together happens this year. And are we talking about a training that requires funding because we we're an unfunded committee? Right. Well, we'll find all that would be another. Yeah. Yeah. Does our committee take contributions? Is this something for me to find out from the town? Yeah. Like, yeah, well, <laughs> I often wondered that. Interesting to know. We talked about that at one of our meetings. I'm not sure if it was the last one. It wasn't an agenda item, but we asked that question. Yeah. Uh, if we if we find something that requires money, can we get that money? Except donations. I would imagine there has to be some kind of transparency where yeah. you declare. Yeah. This was funded by give yeah. from the whatever. You know, Wayne and Sarah Foundation. Right. I would, I think I would explore with the folks who know in town, the officials. Yeah, and, and whether or not yeah. there are there yeah. funds. Yeah. I would start with Carolyn. I was just going to say, Jill, if she can't answer it, she she'll direct you. Know, when I asked her a question, she consulted. Yeah. She added it to her list of things to, when she goes to the town council. Yeah, can I ask her that? I think you can. I know sometimes you yeah. volunteer, but you're a very busy person. Too. Yes, yes. <laughs> you will get it done. I probably <laughs> will be reminded at the next meeting. I that had I was a supposed to lovely do. connection with her after the town meeting, so I felt like okay, now I I kind of know this person, and I'd like to yeah. continue. That would be great. That her ask. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know, Mark? Can I just walk into the town hall and see if she's there? Oh, or you can certainly. Well, right. if, if you're, you know, you might have to do that a few times, or or they might say, I mean, oh, a good time to catch her is this. But I could also call. just email her and yeah. say, what's your time? Yeah. 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 yeah, call and just make an appointment. Yeah. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> I bumped into her in, in the parking lot, so that's how I. Yeah. Okay. okay. I got to keep track of what I'm committing to, but you're writing it down. I am. <laughs> JG. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That wraps up old business. Is that good? We can jump to five new business, and Sarah might have an update on Hadley Learns. Well, as I said, trucks have been driving over my life the last month. If so you I don't, that's not fine. Had it, yeah. that's okay. So, could I give you a brief report, sure. report on that? Because I didn't know that you wouldn't have time, Sarah, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, so I went to the candidates' night to go and hear what people had to say who were running for these different positions. And I got to talk to Humera. I said, oh, yeah. there must be Humera. I've never seen you live. Except, no, I <laughs> and um, she just said how when, uh, back during the pandemic, they were very active doing, you know, monthly uh, you know, meetings where, you, you know, you could read a book or read a magazine article or look at YouTube or whatnot. And she said right now, and it does sound like a little bit of a bandwidth situation, that they are doing things as the need arises. So the last thing they did had to do with the all the, the troubles in Gaza and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's a little, I, I got a better sense about what they're doing. And I visited their website again to see 
if there's anything new on there. And the last, when you click on events, it has an event that was a long time ago. Right. So it looks like what I do see is I'm apparently on an email list. So when there's things that people have to say, you know, that, that people are circulating, you know, here, here's, we're going to talk about the Middle East situation or, or what's going on at the protest at UMass or what, I, I don't remember what the last email was. Um, but it, it sounds like they too are a company, I'm not company, a, a group, a group that's cares about the same things we do. Yeah. And it's all volunteer. <laughs> yeah. But, um, that was a nice connection. She did recognize me that, oh yeah, I think you've come to this. Yeah, because I think she watches our videos. Yeah, yeah. She and she did nice. say, oh, I've got to go look at the last one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so yeah. I just wanted to say that's maybe not a whole lot, but it sounds like uh, a, a very uh, comfortable collaboration. Yeah. To yeah. Stay in touch with yeah. that group. Um, yeah. So you're, you're really familiar with them. I did a lot with that uh, during, yeah. Yeah, during lockdown and stuff. I yep. was able to attend because everything was on Zoom. Right. And if you couldn't read the whole book, you could at least watch the hour or so video with the talk with the author, which was something usually what I got time for, mm -hmm. the, where it was all for. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, engage in the discussion and, and stuff. And yeah, it was really nice. And the, the, Humara has been on is on school committee and she has yeah. been for a long time and she's great. But she that means she understands what we're finding out all the limitations of being an official committee. So having Burns is specifically not an official committee, so they can be nimble. Yeah. They can, you know, they can have meetings on Zoom that are not recorded yeah. so that right. if you put your foot in your mouth, that's where it stops. Right. It doesn't live forever on the internet. <laughs> I, I've attended a few of those with um Agula. Yeah. So there she Humera is wonderful. Yeah. I've seen her at the last event, Ashes. Um, yeah. And I spoke with her after, you know, we talked a little bit. Um I was wondering wanting to know if, if it would be um a Juneteenth this year as it was last year. Maybe I can um, oh. assist in cooking outside of the Head and Cultural Council because last year was a, yeah. a, a special project for the Cultural Council and I'm on that. Yeah. So that's what I did to participate in the Juneteenth um, occasion. Uh, so is was that what the Hadley World's Fair was? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I did see that on their website right. from a past year, yeah, and it sure. crossed my mind: Are they doing that again? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they, the, the World Fair more than more than likely, yes. There, that's something Humera's been going okay. for a couple of years. Yeah, right? yeah. It's that's just true. something yeah. that's consistent. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's, she's a wonderful person. Yeah. She's yeah. she has a mind where she's understanding every aspect of the triangle. Yeah, you know, yeah, she just yeah. It's it's just yeah. she has a lot of different hats, and she was well. yeah. I got that impression. Yeah, she was at this talk. Of oh, she was there too. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a. I, don't know, I wish I. I, I don't know. Hearing you talk about it, you know, I wish you could have been there. You would have loved that. I know. I mean, it probably would have given me enough energy to go through the month with all of the negativity. <laughs> yes, fly away, yeah. little bird. Yeah. <laughs> So, so if there is a World's Fair, we've supported that in the past, haven't we? Yep. How do we find out? Just yeah. ask her. Email or ask her if she's going to have a wall. Should I agree to do another thing? thing? <laughs> no, no, not a wall. So I don't know. We understand that a lot of time. I'm but happy to. I am. I have some other. I like you were going to well, work up a Sarah, some you were going to actually quickly. circle to them to see if yeah, they wanted yeah, to come yeah, to our yeah, meeting, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I would love that. Because we we were yeah. going to invite Hadley Lawrence to either our current meeting or today yeah. meeting or next month. That would yeah, be. let's do that. And how would that be? Um, that would be after Juneteenth. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but that would be fine. That's okay. We're, we're, I if mean, anything, if you ask her when, if she has a date in mind for yeah. the World's Fair follow up. And not only that, if anything, if it's after uh, meeting, because Juneteenth, I think. Okay. It's on a Sunday this a year. Mm -hmm. It's a Wednesday during the week. Right. Let's go Last see. year we had it before 
Yes. Last year we had that Friday. It's on the so 19th. Wednesday. It never, it, it, you know, it may be after June 20th. Maybe before June 20th. I'm showing. Oh, it has to be before June 20th. I'm huh? showing in my calendar that it's here. Yeah. And then here's our our CDI is that very right. next day. So it might, she might have, she, what I'm saying is, oh. I don't know if it's going to be affiliated with the June team. I gotcha. I gotcha. Last year was World's just Fair. an event oh, okay. for Correct. June team. Got it. Yeah. So I'm Got not sure if it's going be. to correlate or if she's going to have this regarding June Got team. Got it. So we're just going to find out about the World's Fair and what they, that's going to be. Gotcha. And speak to her, you know. Okay. Right before, obviously. If she you know, one time, time Maybe not this last one, but maybe the one before it was on the same night as our meeting. Because I remember we, yeah, Pat and I were there and we were like, and this, and we're leaving now because it's I our remember. meeting, but you can all come. And they was at the library, I think. You had to just come over. I don't remember. Oh, they yeah. all kind of blend together. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. I think it was. I think it was here, maybe in the other room, maybe. Maybe it was the first one, and the second one was at the library, yeah. and the third one was there. the one we had last year was here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about your meeting, the DEI meeting, or are you talking about? I, okay, I'm blathering about my terrible memory, so yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. So, Joanne, are you going to reach out to us? Email or I am because okay. I want to find out when it is. Okay. I can report to us if you yeah, like. I would like that. But I can say I really enjoyed chatting with you know, again, yeah, I'm trying to make connections with people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. so I'm gonna ask me again about this and then I'm gonna and I can stay yeah. talk to you about the cultural council position. Yeah, if you'd like to be on that. My husband doesn't want me to join any more committees, but we, we, we can still that. talk. <laughs> yeah, he told me that and you said the same thing when we can flip off. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, I don't care. I would. <laughs> and let's see, I'm going to talk to Jim. Okay. Well, the last scheduled item on our is uh, new business 5B. The question of the date of November meeting, I think. Thanksgiving is always the fourth Thursday. It is, and so, it's the 28th. So we could do the third. And I think maybe last month when you shy away or from the third, thinking it might have been too close to. Well, I would still like to suggest that it might be too close. Okay. Because I'm flexible. We, we usually have our meetings in the middle of the month. The third, the third. Yeah, Thursday usually is a teen, not a twenty. Right, and true. Sure. And that I, month my, starts on a Friday. The, yeah, oh. and, <laughs> and in my experience, people start their Thanksgiving planning yeah. the week before Thanksgiving. Yeah. People right. have Friendsgiving. People start thinking about a long weekend before the Thanksgiving week, right. and I I worry that yeah. if we stick with the third Thursday, which is the twenty first, yeah. we're going to have a quorum problem. Right. I think you're right. So if, I know it's very helpful to, to keep to the third Thursday, but I guess I would throw out, should we consider the 14th? I reserve both dates, so oh. we can decide whatever we want. I would consider I, the 14th. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I would consider the 14th. Yeah, I that. But like you said, yeah. just in yeah. case so we can have a quorum, yeah. because you never know. I think that's, yeah, I think that's being you, mindful. You can, that's coming yeah. from someone who just shows up for holidays doesn't do all the planning. Yeah. <laughs> so to be respectful, I would say yes, let's do the yep. 14th. And 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 the first of November was a Friday. And then the mm -hmm. first of November was a Thursday. It would be that day. Yeah. Yes, it would be. So it's just one day off. And I'm happy to go with whatever people. Yeah. Are you that. okay, Wayne? We're doing the 14th instead of the 25th. I can't see that far. I'll be okay with it. <laughs> You'll be okay with it. You'll come if you can. Shall we do we need to take a vote? I think we do. Everyone want to make I make a motion, a motion that we second. change the, the 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 November CDEI meeting from the twenty first 
to the 14th. To the 14th. Well, actually, it oh. was listed as the 14th. I, 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 yeah, I can't. Yeah, right. I mean, so I had it in my book. Uh, it was. No, but then, it. then we noted yeah. that wasn't the third Thursday. Right. So we said, actually, the third Thursday is the 21st. And so Wayne seconded it. Beautiful. So we have any discussion on keeping it on the 14th? I think we've had the Without discussion. further discussion? Uh, in Joanne favor, yes. we have. Oh, wow. <laughs> We have Pat in favor. We have Joanne in favor. We have Crystal. I, 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 keep, I keep seeing C Jack. I know. Uh, that's my email. That's your email. <laughs> I, I was like, I it's, like not my name. Name. it's not Jacqueline. You can call me C Jack. It's fine. And um, <laughs> Wayne and Mark and Sarah, all in favor. So we <laughs> will keep that on the 14th. Okay. And thank you, Pat, for reserving the room so we're not scrambling. So um, I, I have both reserves. Yeah, yeah. the answer the twenty first. The twenty first. That's great. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to have a party. You are just amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it. Yes. And that brings us to open agenda. Anyone have anything? I have a couple of things, but the first thing I just wanted to share was: Did we want to say anything about these emails that Megan sent us? which about uh, a recent bias incident at Hopkins. I didn't know she just passed this along. I, I just, and she sent it to all of us on the committee, which implied to me she was sending this to our committee. This was a hate speech. Mm -hmm. So I just, um, I printed out, uh, let's see, her Tuesday, May 14th message with the short uh, message to um, parents from Annie McKenzie and Megan says here's the email from Dr. McKenzie about this hate speech graffiti I think this warrants further discussion about how CDEI might support a response and care for targeted students faculty staff and faculty and I'm disappointed that I cannot attend so I have that email I did not read what Annie had to say but then I have her email from was today this afternoon where she attached she says i wanted to pass along this email uh regarding the bias incident at hopkins the district and school is taking active steps to create a safer is and more equitable two separate things two, no this is the same email this same is incident. an update on the same incident yeah, the, same the bias incident and the graffiti are the same the thing, yeah correct it was okay. in the case. i correct. would like to suggest that this is not an issue for our committee why is that? We can take note of it. It's just too involved. We don't have facts. Right. The fact that the superintendent is handling this very well, mm -hmm. she's on the ground, they have all the information. We don't have any of it. Right. Well, we know what we read in the paper or what they've said, but that's not enough for but us to get involved. To get involved in action, but I, I certainly think we can discuss it. And right. Maybe next month we'll put that on the agenda to discuss, but not with the expectation. That we, that we have any role to play. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And when I did speak with um, Dr. McKenzie, she did state that she would love to come to one of our meetings. Okay. And unfortunately, she was unable to come today because of the event at Hopkins, but she said she would love to come to one of our meetings and discuss what's happening. Mm -hmm. and that we, would be fantastic. Yeah. 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 We did speak um, yeah. in length. And she, yeah. I, I, want, I just wanted to, to wrap this up. I printed out in red. I don't know if any of you had time to read, but it's the full response to this from uh, the principal, April Canuso, with what students can do, what are their values and expectations, how do we live them, how to interrupt and report bias, who do you report it to. And I, I just want to say, I think it's great that our committee is aware of things as they come up. We may not be able to do something, Mm -hmm. But I like the idea that that we would have a, awareness. Sure. Mm -hmm. well, so, yeah. And I especially it, like the idea that our school is handling it. Yeah, right. Exactly. That they're like, okay, this happened. Immediately. These are the steps we're taking. We are caring for the students. These are the expectations we have of their behavior. There's no sweeping it under the rug no. kind of thing going on. It's it, it's being handled being addressed such, really well. Mm -hmm. Such intricacy and, and, yeah. and just 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 being held and, and just tackled like a lion. Mm -hmm. I mean from 
what our conversation was about. I mean, there is no tolerance from Ann uh, for that in the school, as you stated, and the policy that they're following and how they're handling it um, and not attacking uh, the student that did it, but trying to find out and maybe educate so it doesn't happen again. Do they know who did it? Well, I'm not sure. I didn't ask. Yeah. I didn't ask. But the conversation we had, um, I just wanted to get out because, as you say, mm -hmm. the public is actually watching. And when Ann and I spoke, we did speak about how parents are reacting. Yeah. And parents are, some parents are upset and they just want this to be head on, dismissed yeah. suspension. But um, to educate a child is much better than to punish them. Yeah. And to, to find out mm -hmm. the reasoning because social media is a large platform. <laughs> And, and restorative justice was one of the things that yeah. she mentioned. In her. Yes. Exactly. So it, it goes to say, you know, there are there are steps that need to be taken. The steps are being followed and the policies are being warranted. And there isn't anything that needs to go as far as, as an attack on children. Right. You know, we are all in this together. It's not about, I mean, the hate speech may have, I'm not sure what it was about because it just, they don't state what it was about. They right. didn't state if it was about sex, race, gender. They right. didn't state that. So basically, you know, it, it's all about being a, a committee and a community to find out how we can prevent this and going forward. Everyone work together and not single one person out because you never know what that person is going through that created this response. Mm -hmm. Right. right. You, you have to find to out. Get involved, exactly. like, like you said, in the school. Yeah. But for us to think about it, contemplate it, talk about it, things like the fact that the child may be acting out from things that they hear at home this or something like that. And mm -hmm. so that's more our realm is the adult community. So. Right, and that's that's the way I think it, it should be handled, as Wayne stated. Not something that we can actually put our hands in, yeah. but just being aware and yeah. just being a part and just being known that we're aware. Mm -hmm. it, it gives it gives the public a sense of of safety. Yeah. I mean, if I knew that this was being handled um, as well as it is in the school with the principal and, and the superintendent mm -hmm. and I know that something's happening, and I know the CDI is isn't is aware of it. It kind of I, I would think it would um, provide some some sort of comfort, yeah. and not that you mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I again, like it's not that for us to do anything, right. but for the school to know that we support their handling of exactly it so that the school doesn't feel like they're alone right. either you know it's nice for individuals to not feel that they're alone in these concerns and it's also mm -hmm. good for the organization to, to know that it's not alone in so what specifically do we do as a committee i would think that as a committee when it comes to, to something like this as sarah stated just to let the school know that you know, we're here to help them if they need any assistance with any type of DEI um, information or if they need to reach out to us or if they want us to speak. Just just as support. There isn't much yeah. we can do. Again, we, we cannot act on it, but we can show our support. Right. So. And we're showing our support tonight. Exactly. People can watch this video and, and hear how well, well we support our school and how Mm -hmm. We understand that the school is handling it in yeah. such a wonderful way, yeah. not with punishments, but with education, like you said, which is so much better. Right. And that would be that. in our minutes that we support it. I could see us coming up with yeah. a statement very carefully worded from what you have just said mm -hmm. and making that a part of what we mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I think it would be dangerous. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. It's a simple statement. Yeah, that's I mean, inclusive of you know knowing that the school i i had my notes ready but just the information that Ann told me that following the steps i mean the school is, is doing everything we support their decision and we support everything that they're they're, they're going yeah. the steps that they're going through to make this not happen again right 
I mean, it, the school is doing a tremendous job. It's just like I told you, there isn't any, any, there isn't anything else that we can do as far as hands on, but the school themselves and, and Dr. McKenzie is doing an excellent job in. So I'm, I'm not clear. Are you suggesting that we, as a committee, write a letter to Dr. McKenzie no, and tell no, her that we support her? No, no. I spoke with her, and this is saying, our, this being viewed as the public, is letting the public know that we are, as a committee, aware of what is going on. We have spoken with, and we have information showing that the school themselves and, and the proper authority of the school is handling it in a way where there's no further worry to be put forth to the public. They can okay. feel secure like and that. comfortable in what the decision and resolution will be. Okay. okay. That's well said. Yeah, that's I, well yeah. said. I have one more, I just want to say the other reason why I like lifting up this is I didn't forget the point that you made last time, Wayne, about how some of these things going on are really depressing. And sometimes it's hard to feel hopeful. Mm -hmm. So you hear a story about hate speech in the locker room and, it, and, you, and you think, someone like me thinks, really? But to see this kind of response yes. is part of the, I think, the I feel effort. for me, part of my calling as a person who cares about diversity, equity, inclusion is to try to see where the hope is, where the mm -hmm. progress is. Yeah. When I was a kid in, in high school, in the 70s, if something like that happened, there, there was nothing. There was nothing to it was handled by it, custodial. Yeah, they just, that was it. <laughs> exactly right. And so I, I like that we this. I mean, this is this is. I mean, I, I took no fear of this response from the principal. Here is what. How do we immediately? What can we do immediately when a bias incident occurs? I thought this is great. We're hands on stuff. So I, but I agree with all what we said. Yeah. It, on record that we support what you're doing. Yeah, but you're right. It gives us all a lot yeah. of hope to know that something like this is being right. handled in that way. Exactly. That's right. that's what I that's said it. with with her. Just you know, so I like I said to her in our meeting, and I and I reviewed the, the notes that I took, and we went over it, and I asked her. I said, um, "Do you mind if I say this? Do you mind if this is what we can discuss?" And she, we again, we okay. spoke about everything. She was okay with it. I, I explained to her, "I don't, I do not want to say anything mm -hmm. that would cause any conflict." I mm -hmm. said, "I just want." This information being a part of the diversity equity inclusion committee, just to let anyone who's watching know that as my part, I did reach out to the authorities at the school and did confirm that this is being um, handled the best way that it is supposed to be handled. Again, the policies are being followed and the resolution is going to happen, whereas instead of Persecuting, we're educating. Right. And that's how it's going. Right. So I would just suggest uh, I, I've heard a number of things. Do we want to just wrap up at that? Do we want to yeah. put an item on the next month's agenda to circle back on this? Because who knows if more will come out? I've, I've heard mention of a statement. You know, do we want to make homework for each of us to bring to next month and say, you know, if there's bullet points that we feel anyone feels that they we should make us, I mean, I don't know where we would, how we would voice that, you know, in, in, in support of the school, perhaps. I think I've heard several times we voice that we think the yeah, principal, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. superintendent have yeah. done a wonderful job. Yes. So maybe that's it. That's sufficient. I, that's fine. I don't okay. think we appreciate that. Come back yeah. and, and have okay. because as I say, yeah, Dr. Yeah. McKenzie said he says she would love to come and sit down. So yeah. you know, if that's what she would like to do, then I would think that would be the next step we would take. But if not, discussing it, coming to the conclusion, it's being handled, yeah. and there isn't anything uh, for you know anyone to worry about in the public. This is not a war. This is, of course, it's graffiti and it's hate speech, but it can be dealt with as it is being dealt with and it is being handled accordingly. And we don't have to worry. And I just wanted that to get out to the world. Okay. There's nothing to worry about. Okay. Wait. That's good.
Um, um, was was there something that Alex wanted to yeah. say? Alex, to do yeah, that? Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. So last. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we all know about some of the digital equity work that we're trying to yeah. do, correct? This is what he's talking about here. Oh, no, can you sum it up? Yeah. Um. So we're trying. So. I believe it's Lever. I think it's last yeah. month we discussed. Um, I brought up. Um, there we go. You can read it. I can read it. Yeah. So um, I'm anticipated. I anticipate last month I anticipated uh, receiving funding from the Massachusetts Broadband Institute to promote digital literacy, um, which also will also include. Access to devices, equitable access to devices, and um, affordable and robust broadband. Um, I I'm, last month was premature to ask the committee to do something. Now, now last last night, I presented this to the select board. Um, mm -hmm. Over the month. We actually got the approval from Matt MBI. We have a consultant, and now the select board approved to have a steering committee for digital equity. Uh -huh. um, so this process would be similar to designing the smart grow or the housing production, um, or even the age dementia friendly um, stuff, which actually ties into oh, yeah. digital equity here. Um, we're just not paying the forty grand. Uh, the, the MBI is going to pitch in that um, money. So we're getting, we're going to be, <clears throat> this is a $40,000 project that we don't have to pay for. And it will hopefully benefit the town. We've been mm -hmm. getting, um, working with a consultant to uh, draft up goals um, and um, hopefully get grants down the road. Mm -hmm. um, it's a five to eight month project. And I'm hoping a member from this from CDEI could join us on the steering committee. I wish I knew enough to join you. <laughs> <laughs> I, think you I think you would be held back by my choice. Sarah, what about you? You yeah. had a lot to say on this last time that I found really instructive. Uh, you seem to have insight into this issue. Well, mostly based on the fact that I have crap internet and <laughs> an old creaky computer and <laughs> yeah, and I mean, just like it says in the minutes, there's this assumption every website you go to assumes that you have the latest equipment and the fastest internet. I'm like, hey, no, <laughs> but. That's my wad that I shot already. So <laughs> I, just, I just had to buy a new computer after eleven years because they said it can't be updated anymore. Uh, That's why your Gmail won't open um, oh, uh, no. because they've updated their security measures, and my 2012 yeah. computer wouldn't mm -hmm. couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Alex, what okay. what would be involved? I I don't I don't think I can add another me personally, but right. Yeah, yes, I'm going to volunteer him oh, after he leaves the room. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Just go ahead and take me a vote. You can nominate me for all you want. <laughs> Thank you. Wayne. What would be involved? Do you think? In terms yes. Of so frequency and time and all that. That's what I'm going to ask. How long will it? Yeah. Go ahead. So, yes. So, I should. Is this yours or his? It might be his. Are you? Oh. I'm going to wait for Mark. Okay, go back. Hey, wait. Oh, wait for Mark. Go on. Okay. Hey, Mark. Go on. Hey, Mark. Go on. Hey, Mark. Go on. These are up in those that I took down. I couldn't find it. And I guess, you know what? When things happen, I always say it just wasn't meant to be. So, nothing. Okay. Yes. Okay, so um, the chart, there's, there's, I developed the charge, and charge is digital equity plan, plan steering committee's charge shall be to work with the consultant designated by the Massachusetts Broadband Institute to prepare a digital equity plan for the town of Hadley to serve residents, to serve residents who may be at disadvantage regarding lack of reliable broadband, lack of digital equity skills, and access to reliable devices to keep up with the ever-changing technical atmosphere post-COVID. Mm -hmm. So when I spoke to the consultant yesterday morning, 
Um, pretty much they're going to do most of the work. Um, the point of the steering committee is to hopefully guide the consultant into what we want. So one of the things is we need the steering committee should choose five people outside the community to interview for for the consultant to interview, um, which could be like a library director or superintendent of schools. Or regular what, people. Or regular people. Or the elderly. Senior, senior center. Well, well yeah. no, they're they're really looking for people like department heads or oh, professionals. Oh, I see. Business type. I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or like people who have the have some you know, that need to have the extra strength the, or need exactly. to have that leadership. Have that leadership, have that knowledge right. of what's going on in the community okay. in the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I presented to the select board, I put um, a couple of examples from outside of town where like Cooley Dickinson or the um, Chamber of Commerce, not to say that we're set to do vote to do those. It's up to the steering committee to really put that to really put that into fruition and and um, but the consultant all that that's what we want, who we want you to interview. Um, they're gonna meet with us a couple of times, the steering committee a couple of times, and then they'll also help out with a public forum as well. So is this for a wide area or is it just for Hadley? Just for Hadley. Mm -hmm. So why would interviewing Cooley Dickinson? Because they able to Hadley. Well, Cooley Dickinson has a stake in Hadley. Because okay, because the, the doctors. Not only like that, I mean, this is called the closest hospital to. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hadley. I got you. I see what you're saying. So the connection is the the, the, the it's just, town itself. It, it's just a, it's just a an example. We yeah, don't. Right. It doesn't mean we have. To. Oh, I see. Right, it's just an example. But that's one example. Like right. everyone yeah. has healthcare issues, and yeah. can you navigate the portal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, we're telling you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good, right? Good. No, it just occurred to me while you were yeah. pressing. I was like, you know, what yeah. Were you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly, exactly because you know what like, there are a lot of um, um, patients in Hadley that go to mm -hmm. um, Hadley mm -hmm. that. Um, doctor up there with an eye, yeah, so having the yeah. factor. So if they do yeah. not have that bandwidth, or if they do not have that access, they can't see. Right. Some people don't rely on their cell phones. Mm -hmm. Some people can't read it; it's just too small. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're right. That's this kind of important. Yeah. yeah. And so, did you have more? I mean, is there any way we can find that information for that you, you're reading from? I can always email it to. Oh. I would like that. Can you email that to me? Okay. Mm -hmm. thank you. So, so are are you asking specifically for someone in our committee, or can our committee find you some people? It'd be nice to have someone from the committee okay. to help because the okay. committee is doing the diversity work. Okay. The work I just wanted to clarify that. Great. That makes sense. I mean, do you have to know a whole lot about it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, like Wayne said, you know, I mean, you don't have to be an IT specialist to join the. No, no. Well, I'm really what well, I'm looking for because here are the people I want to have on the board on okay. the the uh, committee. Sure. You know, get that information up. Yeah. Okay. So I can. So I want a CDI committee member. Why? Because sure. DI is an important part of digital sure. equity. Okay. Um, I mean, you're it, it affects all walks of life. Sure. No matter what you're. Um, gender, sex, mm -hmm. race, mm -hmm. whatever it is you are, it affects you. Got it. Um, a select board member, always because I, I do report to the town administrator, the select sure. board, um, COA board member or COA staff person because did oh, you COA? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, oh, because got it. You get people on the same yeah. get people on yeah. the same page because technology is only going to get more complicated as we go along. Right. So, okay. and I did do something like that with um, uh, Winfield. There's a with the elderly. Oh, yeah. I did have um, get a few of the elderly people together yeah. to mm -hmm. work to show them how to actually maneuver 
uh, the computer because my dad is 80, well, he's 82 now. And every time I go to his phone, he has like 150 messages yeah. <laughs> at the top and, and, you know, voicemail or, you know, he's turning the volume down, doesn't understand and he can't hear the phone ring. <laughs> so it's little, yeah, it's little yeah. things like that where, you know, yeah. people need to understand. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's something that would be definitely. Yeah, we remember buying more a clock radio. I do we have more people in the in the community. Directions. Uh, exactly. Uh, library, yeah. someone from the library because they deal with the technology yeah. Oh, yeah. part of. You want someone from the library? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Schools. 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 Um, yeah. Schools. Um, yeah. Finance and, and look at the two community members. So then when you find two, 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 two people, people in the community. In the yep. oh, and so he's calling him after he landed. Calling and any stuff. anybody or so, people? Oh, I didn't know I had to turn it on. Oh, my gosh. I'm asking for letters of interest and resumes right now. Um, uh-huh. but it could be anybody. It could be if there's someone who does this work and wants to join and give your expertise. That's amazing. Okay. Um, but it could be anybody who wants to pitch in and like yeah. CDI and the library to show up. Mm-hmm. Counseling, and aging, COA, yep. yeah, and the school lectures. And that's a good one, two, three, four, five, six. That's eight. eight. And yourself, of course. Um, yes, and then yeah. Jennifer uh, wanted to, wants to be on it too. So Jennifer, Jennifer standard games. Oh, from the yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah. Oh, so that's five, so that's seven. like a town administrator. You said eight yeah. people. I got one, two. Hold on, I'm gonna go back a little list here. Okay. If they include me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. nine, ten. So I have CDI, library, COA, school, two finance, Jennifer, mm-hmm. and I have select board members oh, so and one yep. finance. Oh, and one finance and one select board, and and then you have Jennifer, and then one. two people from the community. So what? Yeah. yeah, two people, just random people. Well, I mean, like I said, as I said, I'm oh, here, doing it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, not I mean, random, but I mean, that's yeah. if you're part yeah. of a committee. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. If they have yeah. Yeah. non-committee yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. So, like, for example, Mark, you have a com- someone from the community on your girl steering community, yes. correct? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, looking, Andrew is that large. Yeah. So okay. just looking for someone, but looking for a couple of people who. I want to pitch in, and like I said, I'm taking resumes and letters of interest, and there's someone who has the experience in digital equity yeah. and has the expertise and wants to join in and mm-hmm. contribute. That's amazing. But anyone who has a little interest in it, I think. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I, I think this is a great idea. Yes. It really is, especially for Hadley. And you got funded. That's great. Yes. Yeah. And it's for funding. $40,000. It's stemming from the federal government, which gave trickle down in the state, which is disrupting it to all the consultants to work with our oh, yeah. municipalities tax dollars at work. wow <laughs> what is that? but that should definitely help yeah i mean Absolutely. so this is wonderful and crystal there's so i guess that last night like i was talking telling the the um slack board last night there are so many resources um it's endless right now wow so that's that's wonderful. Do you think you're interested? Yes, I am very interested. You're interested? Well, I really am. Do this because, I like I said, I, I think this is going to help. This is just the yeah. beginning, right? You know, so, is your duty to vote you in? Uh, are you <laughs> like <laughs> with me? I'm not. No, I might do the other thing, but <laughs> Okay. So the next this step is, would be for Crystal to, to write to you and indicate her interest. Yeah. Well, because she's on the CBI committee, you guys could. You know, say yeah, we we'd like her to do it, and then she would yeah. need to be appointed by select board. Okay, so then just go over to the town. Yeah. Well, let you. me. I'm gonna. I'm, no, not yet. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steps. Yeah. So I'll just put your name down. Yeah. 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 And, um. Or if you need an email from us, or, to write them in. or if Carol needs an email. They're letting me do all the recruiting part of it. Okay. And oh, I'm, yeah, keeping, I'm keeping um, nice. Carolyn in, tra- in the loop oh, as well. So, Are you putting it out to all these other groups that you're looking for two people? I've been doing that today. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, so I you'll, just, you'll find. and I, in this meeting, you'll see me in the video typing away mm-hmm. because I just, I just popped up like that. Okay. I, I did make a, stood to make a social media post about it. So. Oh, um, yeah. You'll, you'll. <laughs> I think about, we have our meeting next week for the library. And I can bring it up to them, let them know. But I, I don't know if anything from the community will want. Like I said, you don't have to be an IT specialist. You have to at least have an interest. I mean, the consultants yeah. could do yeah. a lot of the work. 
The yeah. steering committee is really to steer into the right direction. Right. Yeah. You want to think yeah, about it. Because the council doesn't know anything about the town. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and like it's I said, I want I want all these perspectives. Yeah. So right. that we can actually yeah. get all get something that everyone exactly will right. want. Right. And I, I would imagine that it's important if this consultant is kind of an expert, it's important for that expert to know what we don't know. Right. Because it's really easy when you're an expert to forget what other people don't well, know. No. <laughs> and we did, and when, I, when I spoke to um, Bill Scully's his name and his team, there's a team working with us. It's not just one guy, it's the whole team. And um, I told, when we, we agreed to add to the scope of work to that me and we, I would meet with a team bi-weekly to discuss and um, discuss progress um, and bring stuff back to the, the steering committee. Mm -hmm. I think one and for timing and um, how we're going to meet, when we're going to meet, I think it'd be beneficial to like do a doodle pool, doodle pool at yeah. the beginning to see what we can all commit to. I'm going to have to do that straight email. I, I'm not comfortable downloading that information. Oh. Doable, yeah. That's why I didn't uh, respond for our potluck. Right. I was going to is like you have to fill out this and you have I'm like, okay. Yeah. That email's great. That's, that's fine. That's too much that's, information. Well, that's another inch of this whole digital And that's thing. why I say yeah. this is excellent yeah. because a lot of elderly people or young people they just don't want to do all of this extra stuff. They want to just be part of it. And go with the flow, mm -hmm. and that's education that works. Yeah. I'm delighted to hear that Crystal is oh, going to let us nominate her. To read, yeah. To be created. Now, your motion. Crystal Jackson to represent yeah. the CDEI on the steering committee. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, that'd be great. All in so favor. Oh, uh, Joanne's in favor. Joanne. Yeah. Crystal, are you in favor? <laughs> Mark. And Sarah, yeah. and yeah. one absent or two absent. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. So Crystal will be in touch. Um, the, the next like where we June fifth. I'm still June looking 5th? for people. Um, what did you say June fifth was? I'm sorry. That's like select board meeting. Oh, okay. Um, yes. so two weeks before June team. Yes. <laughs> so once I get yeah. a list of people that I that we are going to bring forward. Um, we'll get that going, and once we get everyone appointed and all that, and y'all are sworn in, um, we will go ahead and um, start meeting. Okay, you have my email, correct? I have no, I have your number. I think I'm okay. not sure. I have your email. Uh, we don't need to do that. Yeah, yeah no, I can meeting. email you my email. I'll just then, email. Yeah, you. totally. Everyone has okay. my email. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Sure. Thanks for. Participating, yes, okay. for that information. You do anything while you're recording. I'm very happy, Brad. That's a big, that's a big plus. Man. I had a that's question great. for you, yeah. Alex. I, I happened to spend time looking at the Hadley website. I was kind of, I'm going to report about that later. But I, I wanted people to know that our meeting where we met, oh, Joanne, met with um, Troy Brin, had got a lot of views. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 fifty. Um, but I also noticed that March is not up there. March is not up there, right? Oh, Let it, me double. It seemed that all of them have views, so it, you know, and you had mentioned that at a previous meeting. You know, you've got people watching. Yeah. Let me take people, a let me take a look. Sometimes things get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, but Homera said, "Oh, I'll have to go look at that meeting." You know, I thought, "Oh, people really are checking us out." Mm -hmm. So then I. Yeah. But I just wanted to mention that. Maybe that's my closing reflection. Are we at closing reflection? Or, I'm sorry, uh, I, was, I was just checking to see if we have any more. Uh, yeah. Uh, if we don't have any more open agenda. But I, I just had one additional question. Okay. I don't know if the committee knows this. Um, I. I noticed on the town website that has our committee, there is a page, there's a page that's called news and announcements. And the last post is in 2021. And I didn't know who, he, all the other things are current there, you know, minutes and all that. Do we, do we know who 
does the our page someone yeah, from that i think yeah someone from from our committee yeah yes, that's what that. i i didn't know sarah does all the posting on the website okay yeah, so i mean i do the uploading yeah. of the minutes yes mm -hmm. you do that okay yeah oh i thought jennifer did that no, oh, right. Oh, yeah. it, you know, it has when the next meeting in it. So it's got all the links to have we learns and all that. But this page, it says news and announcements. It's old. Mm -hmm. So okay. if we have news and announcements, we're not okay. doing that. And I'm not saying that to school. We didn't have it as a task to do. So, <laughs> so I didn't know whether but we could actually list the movement that many. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's in case more people. Right. Yeah. Because right. I'm starting to think more about how people know we exist. We want to yeah. maybe sure. yeah. just to keep it active maybe we say next meeting is right well it has the next meeting on there already i know but you, yeah but all you right welcome. sarah i yeah. probably will have to sit down with jennifer and find out how to do that for the past we email yeah. her and make sure you get to that space yeah, what the specific yeah. steps are because that's how i do the upload it's like i i literally wrote down all like 12 or 15 yeah. steps yeah. every single one of them and i <laughs> no. Well, you update the names of the committee members, yeah. and that's also doesn't have you on it. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I just figured we'll, we'll get time. Well, next year in 2025, Crystal will be all up to you know digital equity. She can take over the <laughs> then I can work the machine. <laughs> yeah. We all might be able to work from this. Well, yeah, I just was, I didn't know whether there was need for someone to do that or as Sherry, you're indicating you're pretty busy. Um, you know, I just wanted to see if there's a way to keep that current. It might be somebody else does it. Or, I know not. when I, uh, I have to update the cultural council page, but I know um, I was, with the information I have, I was only able to, I believe, put the names and upload information right. but when it came to the news information i i can't remember jennifer said yeah. she's in charge of a certain portion of it yeah. and only she can put it down yeah so maybe that's what it is yeah so i'm just curious to find that out because it would be nice to put our activities up yeah. there and have that would i mean it might be as simple as looking at this seeing that the list of names is is need to be oh, you can update the name and just letting jennifer know yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she could do it. I don't know. Yep. I yeah. Know. But that's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. This way people know about what we have, the exactly. events we have coming up. And so yeah. the senior center, you know, a lot of people may want to attend that. So that may. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. right. Sarah, that sounds like it should be my job. I'll, okay. I'll call Jennifer. Okay. And I'll great. ask about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Sarah's already doing heavy lifting. Yeah. 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 Uh, I had one open agenda item I was going to put out there, which is that uh, town elections are uh, next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do we need to annually ask for the appointment? Do we? Is that something? I actually asked about that. Oh, uh, did you? <laughs> yeah, so we're on the same page. Oh. And um, what I, Jennifer told me that we remain as a committee. Okay. Um, if someone indicates they're interested in joining our committee, then she'll approach you and let okay. you know oh. and see if one of us, I think, would, would like to step down. Um, I asked about rotating the chair and the that's what I was, job. That's what I was going to And she ask. said that um, she finds that, that it's a good idea to rotate that to avoid burnout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm not getting burnt out because you're doing all the work. So many things should be rotated. She, she, she should be, she should be the clerk. Yes, but, yeah. but yeah. that aside, you know, with all seriousness, I don't. I have no desire to remain here unless you guys need me to be here. If I would love to see it move around and have a different chair. When you say here, do you mean on the committee? Or yeah, on on this committee. No, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just being the being chair. the. Figured it oh, there. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. I'm yeah. happy to share that. I got um, in I in our first two years, we had no takers. You know, it was kind of a I remember you know, it was Wayne and then it was 
Kayla and, and, uh, and, and, and Margaret. Margaret. Yeah, they did a co-chair. Yeah. yeah, and then mm -hmm. when we were all about to step back, um, our whip over here twisted some arms and uh, convinced me to <laughs> to step up as a chair. So, uh, yeah, I, I, that's what that's where my point was going was that I didn't know that you had already reached out. I was going to say. Do we want to do like an organizational in June after the May elections? Is that a time to look at, you know? Sure. So that's food for thought for sure for people to think. And, yeah. You know, and it sounds like we could, no, we can't discuss it at our. No, 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 no. We will not be. We will not be discussing any matter. Not at all. Talk about bird watching. We will just be people. Food, yeah, and joy. Exactly right. So we're going to add this to our June agenda. Yes. Exactly right. But you can all do that as mental homework before them to think anyone wants to step up. And as you can see, I pull it off without any preparation. <laughs> so it's not impossible. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, is there any other? If there aren't any other, I have a brief reflection I would share. I didn't have one earlier, but I did think it's something that I heard on NPR <clears throat> this week. That gives me kind of what we said before, what what Joanne said about it's depressing, but there's also hope in it. And that was, uh, and maybe some of you heard it, it, was a story about the cooking fuel and the fire and the airborne contaminants. Uh, and I believe it was African women in, in, in Africa do most of the cooking. And it could have been Asian, the Asian continent too. But anyway, there was, it, they were talking about how many women die mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they prepare the meal. They go out and gather whatever they are going to burn to cook the meal. Yeah. Yeah. And they inhale all of this. Yeah. And they die prematurely. Mm -hmm. And, but then the whole part of it was that so many, I, I was driving, so I, I didn't hear the whole story, but there were a number of countries, I know Sierra Leone was one, that are legislating to change, to go to clean fuels to, and to, to educate the people. You know, so you know, this is something that shouldn't have been overlooked this long, but it is being addressed. So I found hope in that. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, that brings us to confirmation of dates, which I think we have done. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anyone wants to move for German, I would entertain a motion. I second. Well, you you I, mean, I make the motion. You make the motion. I second it. You second it. Okay. Yeah. All I'm in favor. Joanne is It's favor. unanimous. Okay. okay. No roll call. Yes. <laughs> right now. Sorry. That's okay. All opposed.